So we have two more depths floors to try and get ignition to a very castable point so that I can at least blast my way through slime. Usually ignition alone is kind of enough to do most of the heavy lifting there. So we'll just rely on that to uh, continue to be the case, I believe. Unless things drastically change over the next little while here, that seems to be a fairly safe assumption and approach. There we go. We start our lightning stairs strategy as we've come to know and love it. And we'll just bring spark wasps up and at them. Hey kids, 54% chance of paralysis is actually pretty solid, especially once again, the backstabs with uh, do, do, do mega vamp to increase our health pool by a huge amount so always love that maybe we'll actually yeah even just hop between stairwells because why the heck not and still employ a similar strategy we're still gonna make some noise and see how that goes oh hey jory it's been a long while since i saw you Jory was one of those uniques that I used to always underestimate, and now I don't know if I've landed on like an appropriate level of worry or I've gone too far the other direction, but Jory terrifies me. I think it's because I had a fight on a very promising character that got Jory down to a tiny, tiny sliver of health, and then all of a sudden just vampiric drained all the way back to full, crystal speared me, and died. Um, I did to be more explicit there. So, it's definitely bred a, a healthy amount of caution into my uh, responses when dealing with that son of a gun, to say the least, but we'll probably eventually have to deal with you. I just like all of our fancy evocables to recharge before we get to that point, if at all possible. So we will see how we fare over on this side of the level and if things are a little bit more manageable for the, the time being here. And I, I kind of want to just lightning you, but I'm trying to be a, a little bit on the quieter side for the moment here is what we were just discussing. So with that in mind, fortunately Scorch still doing a decent job of taking care of all of our problems. So do love that. Oh. Okay. You know, my plans are silly anyway. So. Oh. Mesmerized. I didn't even notice that on your list. 54%, so pretty good odds of doing so. My bad. <laughs> um, well. I have six more teleports, so I can still get away from this situation. I have ten fogs, so I guess I could also just fog up and hopefully break the mesmerize, but doesn't seem too ideal either. Another option, it's a couple greater servants. And then just see what happens here. Ah, one more greater servant would be nice. Perfect, and Jory is almost out of the picture. Okay. Well, that works. Just get lucky and reflect the crystal spear directly back into the son of a gun. Love to see it. <laughs> Just how we drew it up, of course. Completely calculated. Never a doubt in my mind. Holy moly. Well, okie dokie. Definitely ended up more on the straightforward side than the overcomplicated, especially considering the fact that there were quite a few enemies in that little... Uh, hangout session that we engaged in, so not too, too shabby here. Um, Ice Dragon is the only real issue here, then I think Fire Giant should go down pretty dang quickly, all things considered. In fact, we'll actually heal a decent amount of off over the course of the fight. Beautiful. You know, I've, I'm focused on spellcasting. I really want Ignition up and running. I want to potentially be able to cast my level 9 spell, even though it's not looking like that'll be possible in our current armor set. At least not with switching into like a Ring of Wizardry or something like that. But probably should also think about our defenses, because besides getting shields up to the point where I could use this Reflection Kite shield, 
just been completely neglecting them. Bit of armor. I guess armor would also help with the, the spell casting. So let's throw some on here. It's going to train super fast, especially if we break out of here real quick. When you compare the, the 41.2 cost to 6, yeah, that's going to skyrocket here. Something fierce. So with that in mind, let's uh, let it do so and join the fray with our summons. You know, I expected that to go a little more smoothly, but hey, it is what it is. Let's maybe get one of these sons of guns. I mean, you just Malmutate. It's a good trial run. How good is Malmutate? Are you useful? Do you deserve a spot on this squad? Oh, I also didn't notice I got Disjunction as my next spell. Okay. I know Kevin Bugswash has been talking about... I can't remember Dispersal or Disjunction. I always mix up the two spells. High-level translocations are like a shadowy realm that I very rarely explore except on Genie. And Disjunction, I think, would be super handy, especially, obviously, for taking care of... Um, melee opponents always super super nice so we'll probably end up using that in the near future also I think we're at the point now where I'm gonna start throwing the occasional ignition energy out there since it's looking pretty dang solid this son of a gun resistant electricity and fire so boo <laughs> What do I do against you then, my friend, besides try to overwhelm you with summons, who will never quite be enough to do so if I had to guess. The cactus has a bit of a better chance of doing so, and even then, doesn't quite make the cut immediately. There we go, third tries the charm, third cactus man to the rescue, and all is well that ends well. Also join the fray ourselves just a wee bit here. Maybe step out of the fire cloud, even though not a huge deal. We're definitely pretty, pretty solid at dealing with just such things. Are you fast? You are fast, my friend. Well, that's very cool of you. And how much damage do you do again? 20 plus 48 extra cold, 16 plus 48 extra cold. Yikes. Uh, we'll stick around for a few hits though and see how it goes. Beautiful. Do you manage to make it out of that one in one piece? And for our fiery pig, we're just gonna have to deal with you the old-fashioned way, seeing as how none of our magic is gonna do a great job there. Okie dokie. Well, we're definitely starting to to settle into things a little bit here. Definitely not going too horribly. Every once in a while, my cactus very much doesn't know what the heck they're doing with their life and just starts twiddling thumbs. But, you know, barring that ruining my life, not the end of the world. And we should be able to just keep on keeping on here. Just about done depths three. And then just depths four and the eventual third rune to go, hey? Holy moly. I'm trying not to think too, too much about, about our chances in Zod. It's going to be interesting. We have largely fire and lightning themed attacks, neither of which is especially great by the time you get to Zod. Uh, especially lightning very quickly falls off, unfortunately. But we'll see how it goes. Who knows? Could always be surprised. You know what I might do here? is just not bother exploring this. Stone structures and depths, oftentimes a real pain in the, the rear here, and don't especially need it, at least until we see how we're looking on the, uh, on the ignition front as we start to get a little bit closer to our adventure into slime. But, I mean, already down to 11%. It's feeling pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I'm hoping that remains to be the case. Okie dokes. 
There we go. Now officially done the floor. We'll head down to depths four and just see where we're looking after we finish off the, the zone for the time being here, shall we? Hello, my golden friend. Um, I think if we all just group up together, take you by, by storm here, we might be okay. Beautiful. Of course, the one time that we're not that interested in gold dragon scales, it will drop from the very first son of a gun we take care of. Wouldn't expect anything less of the UTCSS. Wait, are these pale draconians? So they're steam flavored? That's interesting. You don't see that every day. In fact, I'm curious if I've ever seen pale draconians until right at this very moment. Well, that's a fun little thematic what I'm assuming is going to be our, our Zod entrance here. Oh, I see how this one is going to go. Little flavor bundles, as it were, in each different room. So the fire one is going to suck, but the rest are not going to be too bad. In fact, this one should go swimmingly. Right, we don't, you know, fail ignition four times in a row, which we fortunately do not end up doing. So love that. Love that for us. Um, Quicksilver and purple draconians. Hey, well, immediately kind of ruined by my own clouds of fog, but that is fine. We'll just keep spamming ignition until all of life's problems go away. That is beautiful. And I'll definitely just try to take out the, the summoner as quickly as we can. So don't have to deal with their shenanigans too, too much longer. And that should just about do the trick. Nope. Cactus? Cactus? Excuse me, sir? Could we please <laughs> help? <laughs> I require your assistance. Beautiful. Okay, well that's depths for you. Down to 10%, so still not quite perfect on the ignition front. But it's it's starting to get there. And I think actually ignition and disjunction should be super strong against slime, because we're gonna be completely surrounded by a large group of enemies. So overlapping AO AOE damage, plus the ability to remove the immediate threats from our vicinity. That seems great. At least uh, on first blush here. So maybe we are pretty much just ready to go there. Would probably have to swap into resist corrosion. Which means I'm largely giving up my cold resistance. Something like that is what I'd be thinking. It's not horrible. Willpower is not great, so the, the balls of eyes might be a bit of a, a sticking point, as it were. Azure slimes, though, should die pretty quickly to just how much fire damage we're able to output, so maybe not the end of the world there. Hmm. You know? Maybe, just maybe. Everything will... I'm up roses here. Everything will be okay. Have I not found my slime entrance? Oh, I never finished layer five. Let's alleviate ourselves of that issue, shall we? Can head right back up and we'll hopefully have a nice, like, smooth sailing. Wait, no? I did explore all top five. Then it's, ah, it's up here. And I just was scared of the oak Oakload plant for some unexplained reason. <laughs> Usually I try and take these buddies out, especially since, like the majority of statues, you can kind of get away with some cheesy strategies for the, uh, the majority of the time. But okie dokes. Oh, man. Starting to, uh, to feel my brain lag slightly here. Starting to slow down. But hopefully not too much to, uh, to kind of continue to pilot through as long as I can keep talking if that starts to fail then I'll probably save you all the uh, the painful experience of having to to listen to somebody lose their mind live on camera but hey, we'll see how it goes over the next 
few moments here and how things are looking. So Azure Slime, 45 extra cold damage. So you're definitely not fooling around. Ooh, geez. Oh no, as I fail ignition. Hopefully not twice in a row. Fortunately, not the case. Head upstairs though. Just quickly heal out of that encounter, reset, and come at it, you know, with a fresh set of eyes, feeling maybe a little more competent and confident, of course. Uh, burn, baby, burn. Beautiful. True reality TV. <laughs> Fair enough, maybe that's where all the views are actually at. Maybe that's where I've been going wrong all this time. Give the people what they want to see. But okie dokie, blitzing our way through slime. This has definitely been some of the, the fastest stairs finding that we've experienced in a long, long time. It's especially nice because once again, much like the, the ball of lightning strat, I can just kind of sit here keep blasting my my pretty little heart away until it all is settled in the dust and i'll turn on dodging because again it should train very quickly much like the armor did what else i guess we could train a bit more invocations or evocations evocation has been a bit of a a lifesaver up until this point in the run in general, we can just start to diversify. This is where we have a bit more freedom because there's nothing especially pressing that needs our experience right away here. So we can get a little bit more creative with it. And let's just blast everyone before heading upstairs for a bit more of a concentrated healing session. Do some, you know, some yoga, some meditation, just relax up here. At least was the plan until I actually made my way up and immediately was <laughs> ambushed by a series of new friends. So, you know, sometimes these things don't work out the way you wanted, but maybe that was just what we needed the whole time. How could it possibly go wrong? There we go finally making our way down to slime 5 we fortunately do have the magic mapping scrolls available to us here or a nice number of them i should say more specifically so we'll use these bad boys right away and pretty much just go with the usual strategy um i guess what we could do is again engage project noisemaker and just get uh, the Royal Jelly to come out our direction. You know what? I won't stumble around. I'll just trust in my friends. And look how it all works out for us. Beautiful. Yeah, it's very tempting <laughs> to bring them out. What are your chances of confusing me? So I've just lost like two 15% in a row. Pretty much back to back. How about that? Well, own some friends and hopefully <sighs> wait a second how did i suddenly take so much damage i mean you do deal 42 plus extra acid so you know fair enough but i also didn't expect to to fall so low so quickly of course um do i just ice blast that doesn't seem like the best but mine burst is going to be zero percent Yeah, just do that. That gets the job done. And let the, the shiny knight do all the mutation to our cactus that they want. I think that's that's totally fair. That's on you. Um, and I get hidden genetic potential out of the mix. So that's nice. That works out. Holy moly. Well. Oh, I think I would like to ensure some backup safety nets here so we'll explore to the top of these stairwells and just try to set that up for our future resistant to electricity and very resistant to fire yeah that sucks um what do we do with you friend i mean i guess i could fail to cast disjunction that's cool maybe this stairwell is just not okay you know 
and sometimes that's okay. Oh, I will need to come up with a solution to rock slimes though, now that I think about it. Oh, and cactus is the answer. When in doubt. I mean, I should have known, really, all things considered. But, we can start blasting here. If the Royal Jelly comes walking out, we are immediately going AWOL. Oh, Dissolution is also here. Man, I almost never see you, friend. <laughs> so I always forget what you do. Um, besides being a general pain in the butt, regenerate quickly, summon eyeballs, abjuration, boo. Pretty solid multi-hit acid damage as well. Yikes. Welp. I don't like getting into this encounter while already kind of on the back foot here. I think it's my main issue at the moment. But will I get a better opportunity where I have Dissolution and so far not the Royal Jelly? Could change very quickly, but at this very moment in time, no Royal Jelly. Um, do you have Abjuration, but we're just going to risk bringing in a copy of you. Then Ignition to just take care of the crowds. keep igniting. I mean, I'm kind of healing up as I'm dealing damage, so it's all coming out in the wash so far. And let's double check this one more time. So you're not resistant to electricity or fire, which is bad news bears for you. On the flip side, still pretty dang scary. Or not. Never mind. And then I still have dissolution, I still have my buddy and the royal jellies out. Oh boy. Phone a friend? Phone another friend? I think it's just about time we get this ball rolling. No shot I can paralyze you, right? Yeah, 0%. I would hope your divine energies would <laughs> prevent something from that, uh, of this lowly magnitude from having that kind of effect. So, reassuring in a way, even though it's slightly terrifying. Especially since it's looking like I'm going to end up in the middle of the doggy pile here. I need bodies. We're going to read a summoning scroll. It's not going to do nearly as well as I would like. But then we're going to start immolating. And we should be able to tear through everything except for the, the rock slimes, of course. <laughs> um, the Go Go Gadget acid slimes, maybe? Also, just read a, a teleport right away here. I think that is probably for the best. We will get taken out of here in moments. Perfect. <laughs> At least I was hoping so. I was kind of relying on it, actually. 